Hi, I'm Evan. I just wanted to make this sh uh, hopefully short video to uh, show you what I do with my shaving cream. There's a guy in Denmark, I think his name is Thomas uh, Moku Jingris1, I think it's his YouTube channel, and he showed me the U Uber Lather a long time ago and I've been really into it ever since then. I thought I'd make my own video since I've maybe kind of expanded on the basic recipe for the, the lather. So I just want to show you some of my gear here. Um, I'm in a mustache contest. I don't typically wear a beard, but I've got a Mo Tonic. I just I made up out of some different uh, products, so it's going to help me win the championship. Got the mustache grower's guide here. Just want to show you guys that because I'm going to win this stash test. Anyway, uh, I've got some different little scissors here for trimming hairs. I've got like a little beard brush, whisker brush. I think that according to Chinese medicine, they say that. Uh, your mustache will grow or your hair will grow you know even if you've lost your hair that if you stimulate it a lot and run your hands to it so I do this 3,000 times a day just kidding okay that was just a joke thing for people at work but anyway alright so I've got some old straight razors here this is a Damascus steel straight razor I got from the it's from the Washington Works Sheffield England it's really cool I like it a lot um, I don't use it yet because I, it needs to be refurbished and I'm not that good with my honing yet, so uh, that's the Damascus steel. I've also got another old straight razor that I need to get refurbished to. The eyedropper. I, right now I use a straight razor. Uh, it's a safety razor, actually, I mean to say. And you can get the razors at the grocery store. They're really inexpensive. I got this, uh, this safety razor at an antique shop, and it comes with this great case. Everything fits right in here. It actually still had the original razor blades in it from like, had to be like the 50s or 60s or something, maybe even older than that, but it's in really good condition, so I use it a lot. It's really easy to put together. This is the top piece here, and you just flip the top piece over. You've got your three prongs. You drop the razor blade into that. You drop the guard onto that, and then you screw in your handle, and it's ready to go. I like it. I think it looks pretty good. Um, it works pretty easily. I get a great shave with it and the razor blades are really inexpensive so I like it a lot. Um, I've got a dropper here from some of the oils over there. I've got a spoon here for some of the, the shaving cream stuff. This is my brush that I got from Etsy. They sell some really great um, brushes on there. All kinds. They've got like this teak wood handle brush. This one is a silver tip, pure silver tip badger with a mahogany wood handle and they've got so many awesome ones on on their website I really recommend checking that out um, so that's that I've got this great um, shaving scuttle from Georgetown Pottery um, it was about forty five dollars it's got this reservoir in between the outside and the inner bowl and this keeps the inner bowl hot while you're doing your lather it keeps your lather hot um, so I usually take that and I'll run some tap, some hot tap water on it just to bring that up to a little bit higher than room temperature. And then I'll use some really hot water from a thermos, not quite boiling, and then I'll put that in the reservoir and in the bowl. And I can go ahead and just show you how I do that. Just put that there. I'll put just a little bit in, inside the bowl. And then go ahead and put the rest of it in the reservoir without getting it all over. like a no, I'm taking a tinkle. <laughs> Not funny, sorry. Okay, so that's that. Oops, a little too much. Pour that off, it comes with a stopper. Just put your stopper right in there. So you've got really hot water in there. And then this is all the stuff I use for the shaving cream. Apparently, a lot of people just use the vegetable glycerin. Any kind of shaving cream that comes, that's not an aerosol shaving cream. And then I use a Dr. Bronner's soap, just a regular soap, but it has a lot of oils and stuff in it and so it's really great. Um, it's a really great soap. But you don't, if you're using a soap that has a lot of oil in it, you don't want to use a lot of other kind of oils. And I've got all kinds of stuff here. I've got like this eucalyptus oil I use. There's a myrrh oil. There's frankincense I've got. Almond oil. Castor oil. I've got a Texas sandalwood right now. Actually this is Texas cedarwood. And this is a clary sage. Um, 
all these different essential oils are supposed to have a medicinal quality, it's supposed to be good, they cure depression and sore throats and all different kinds of diseases and just ailments I guess really and um, I, think it, I think essential oils are awesome, they smell great, they're really soothing, relaxing and then shea butter is another one I use and I think that you know you can make your own shaving cream with just soap, shea butter, cocoa butter, some castor oil and then any of the essential oils you want but I just use all this stuff and depending upon my mood or whatever I'm, sometimes I'm like well maybe today I want to use almond oil and eucalyptus oil or you know you could use whatever you want there's so many different essential oils out there and whatever your local like health food kind of place is just do some research place I've got this stuff from they sell it by the drop even so if you want to try a new one it's like you know 50 cents for you know a pretty good amount to, to try it up and, and see if you like it so you don't have to spend a ton of money on these they have a bulk on almond oil and all kinds of different oils the frankincense and stuff and it was like less than a dollar for a pretty good amount and so that's another option and then you can get the whole bottle too and these kind of get pricey but they have smaller bottles but anyway whatever so this is uh afterwards is a witch hazel astringent and i use that afterwards that's a little witch hazel right there she's a famous witch and then this is some aloe vera here and they sell aloe vera at my local grocery store and they sell it in like a big giant leaf that looks prehistoric and you just cut it open you take the skin off and uh, aloe vera I don't know if you know about it but it's supposed to be a really healing plant if you have cuts it's supposed to heal it faster it's supposed to be really good for your skin soothing so I use that after the shave and I keep a towel on it to keep it from getting all dried out and then I throw a towel in the freezer with some water and let that kind of get frozen and then you know right when I start my shave I'll pull it out so it, it's thawed out by the time I use it so it's really cold but it's still manageable and not like frozen so I'll go ahead and just go along here and get started and I think really the key is to getting a lot of soap on your brush um, the last time we tried to make this video I didn't have enough soap on my brush and it didn't turn out very well so I'm gonna try again and this time you really want to get a lot of soap and I'm doing this this isn't the best way to do this usually you get a mug and they sell these mug discs and you put it right into your mug you put the soap right into your mug and then you can just lather your your brush and load your brush up with soap um, straight in the mug it's a lot easier than trying to hold a bar of soap like this so this is what I got to work with right now so I just try to get this really loaded up get a lot of soap on the brush I think this is the key to a good lather is getting lots of soap. Um, all the oils and everything else are going to deteriorate your uber lather if you don't have a lot of soap. So I think that's the most important part. So I've got, I think I've got a pretty good amount of soap on my brush here. Um, next thing I do is I'll add a little bit of the vegetable glycerin and you know these soaps already have all the stuff in it really. And so if you add too much of this other stuff, you're not going to get a very good uber lather. And so that's why I think that, you know, like Thomas and those other dudes, they don't put a lot of the essential oils in there and the glycerin and stuff because it's going to reduce the quality of your lather. So I got a few drops of the vegetable glycerin. I've got a few, uh, a few drops of the shaving cream here. I'm probably using a little bit too much, but... And then I think today I want to try this Texas cedar wood that I got and see how that works out. I'm just going to put a couple drops in. I don't want to put too much because one of these, one drop of this essential oil is like really pretty potent. And so you don't want to put too much in there or it'll definitely ruin your uber lather. So I've got glycerin, lots of soap, shaving cream, I've got a couple, uh, I've got the, the cedar wood, essential oil, and then I always like to add a little bit of shea butter as well, because I think that makes it pretty creamy, but you don't want to use too much, because I think that, you know, 
you have your soap, and then you, if you start adding all this other stuff, it reduces the quality of your uber lather. So you want to be careful. You don't want to add too much stuff. And see, my, my shaving scuttle is hot, so that shea butter is like melting right away. Just put that in there. Start twirling it up. And some people tell you not to twirl in a, in a circular motion because it's going to damage the bristles of your brush, but a lot of people say that that's kind of an old wives' tale. I don't understand how you're supposed to get a uh, good lather by just going left to right like this, but anyway, I usually go a circle. I've had this for a year or so, and it hasn't damaged my brush at all. I think I've got a pretty good lather, and you might not see anything in the bowl here, but there's a lot of it in my brush here, and that's a pretty good lather. It's pretty creamy. It could probably stand to go a little bit further. And so I'll take this off of the brush, put it back in the scuttle, whip it up a little bit more. And you can kind of tell by the sound. You'll start to be telling by the sound. I don't use too much shaving cream, especially right now. I don't, you know, I only have a a beard going. I don't have much, too much area to shave, but I also find that you know if you make a cream once with and then take it out of your brush here, I mean that's a pretty good amount to shave with right there. And then I just drop it back in there to keep that against the side of the bowl so that your lather stays hot. If it's in the brush, it's not going to be hot. So I take it out of the brush and put it against the bowl so it stays hot. Um, after that point is where I'd wash my face with really hot water, open up all my pores, and then I'd take some of the leftover hot water and I would put it on this here towel. And I would do a really hot towel after that. Hold it there, be careful not to burn yourself. You can put some essential oil on there, some cedar wood or sandalwood or something, and you don't want to use too much, just like one drop. Breathe that in, it's really good for you. And then you just hold that there and enjoy that part of it because it feels really good. And then after that, you don't want to dry your face, you want to leave it kind of wet. And then you just take your lather, maybe give it a little bit more action. And then get it out of your brush. And then apply it to your face wherever you're going to shave. And since I'm just kind of trimming up, I'll just go around these areas here. And then, you know, the more water you add, each time you can add a little bit of water and it'll replenish what's in here. So after I shave I can put some more water in this scuttle and it'll it'll still make another batch of lather. So that's how I've always done it. I don't know how these guys put huge amounts of, I don't know how they get such a huge volume of it, but anyway, I look like an idiot talking with this in my face. So I'm going to move on here. Um, if you're going to shave more than once, rinse your blade with hot water. So I'm shaving here, and these old style safety razors are great because you hit one, three or four strokes, then you can just flip it and go three or four more strokes. And what I would do if I was shaving more than once is I would just go over everything really lightly. Trim everything up there, just real light, go along everything. And at this point, I would stop. I'd rinse my face with hot water again. I'd rinse with hot water again, and then I'd take another hot towel, do another hot towel, open those pores up again, get your face really soft. I'll put just a little bit more water in here, give it another minute or so, you know, and you add a little bit more water and it's going to reactivate what's got, what's already in your brush because there's still quite a bit of stuff in there. And you'll get, you'll get another, you know, if I would have put a little bit more water, I'd get some more cream out of that, but um, I'm not really going to do another shave. But then I'd shave, I'd put it on again, you know, and it smells great. It's really thick, it smells awesome, it's therapeutic, it reminds me of like my grandparents cabin or something, it's awesome. And so after that, 
I put more cream on my face. I'd rinse with, you know, I'd rinse with hot water if I'm gonna do a third shave. But if I was gonna end the shave, I'd rinse with with cold. And then I'm getting a signal that I had some stuff on my face. Okay. And then uh, so I'd rinse with cold if I'm if I'm gonna be on my last shave, I'll rinse with cold. And then after that. I would go ahead and take this really cold towel and this one's been sitting here so there's a little extra water in there but it's super cold oh man and that closes up all your pores and that helps to squeeze out any kind of uh, you know toxins or anything that are in your skin any kind of uh, waste <laughs> what comes out all that comes out of your face it squeezes up your pores it feels really good um, I sometimes this isn't that cold, but when it's really frozen, it feels awesome. And then after that, I would take some of this Humphreys uh, Witch Hazel. It's an astringent. It's supposed to be soothing and non-drying, really good for your skin. It's going to close up your pores, and it's also going to clean any kind of oils that are left on your face that can, you know, block up your pores and stuff. Um, and with that. I usually have a cotton ball or something, but um, you, know, you can just put a little bit on this towel and then just wipe it on real easy wherever you've shaved. And this smells awesome too. This witch hazel is really cool. It smells good. It doesn't really burn at all or anything like that after shave kind of thing. It doesn't really hurt. Um, so after that, um, I'd probably let my face dry a little bit, um, give it a few minutes, and then I'd take the aloe vera. And kind of work it with my hands and this gel will release a lot of liquid and smash it up you kind of have to break the cells to get the to get the the liquid out of it and then I would apply that afterwards and it smells kind of earthy it's not it doesn't smell really that great and uh, your skin might itch just a little bit afterwards but I think that itching is good it's kind of healing your stuff up and so that's what I do um, I hope maybe I've been able to shed some light on something if, if any of you are new to uh, making uber lather and uh, I really appreciate you watching our video and thank you to the camera person for doing the camera work and we'll see you next time if you know you like our video you know hit the like button or whatever the button is that says that you like it and uh, hopefully I'll have a couple more videos up for you to check out so thanks again and we'll see you next time